Hey guys, Slater here. Welcome to the MCBC Viewer Team application video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the information that you and your teammate will need in order to apply for MCBC Season 7, along with as like where to go, what you should be putting in your video, and some dates for different stuff of when stuff is due and when we're opening and, and whatnot. Uh, so to open this entire video, I'm going to explain briefly what MCBC is. MCBC stands for Minecraft Bedrock Championship. It is a a uh, tournament run on the Bedrock platform on a realm where 10 players in teams of two compete through five different games and then the top two teams versus some cactus. Uh, if you've seen uh, Nox, Nox Crew's MCC or uh, Minecraft Monday, Minecraft Saturday, what, all those different events run on Java, it's something similar to that but on the Bedrock platform in a much smaller scale. It's run by myself and a very talented team of admins and builders that have been helping me make all of this possible. So. Big props to all of them because some of them are absolute, all of them are absolute mad lads with what they do. So the first thing you're going to need to do in order to apply is quite simple. You're going to need to be on our Discord. We're going to have a bunch of links and information there and you're going to have to go through that at the end of the day in order to find out if you're accepted because that's where I'm going to be contacting you and that's where all of the posts will be made. So I'm going to put the, the link to the Discord down in the description, MCBC Discord, it'll be right down there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you open the application, uh, you're going to instantly see that there is a date attached to the season already. If you're not available on that date, there's not really a big point in you applying. You can totally go through it just for fun, uh, make a video and do all of this, but we're probably not going to accept you if you're not available on that day. So make sure that you are available for that day and a couple hours after, uh, just so you and your partner, of course, can be there for the event. And yeah, you are picking your own partner for this. Pick a friend, a family member. It kind of has to be a human, but if you really want, it can be your dog. You, <laughs> if your dog is able to play Minecraft, you can apply with your dog. So the next thing you're going to want to know is being able to record or stream the event while it's going on will be a big factor of whether or not you're accepted. Of course, uh, it's not a complete make or break, but it will go a long way if at least one of your teammates are able to do that. So all application videos will be posted in a new Discord channel that I'm going to be making. Uh, same server, but new channel. That way you know that we have seen your application and we have posted it. And then on top of that, so that everyone else can see your video, which might seem a little embarrassing, but you know, that, that we're giving you a fair warning right here that that is what we're going to be doing. So the team and I will all pick our, our individual personal favorites and then collectively we're going to decide which team we think will be the best fit for the tournament and which team we think spent the most time on their video and what video we just enjoyed the most. That way it's not solely on my shoulders to crush all the other teams hopes and dreams that don't get accepted. Uh, it is a collective decision. So bribery? So well, I've been talking about the application video but let me get into that a little bit more. So the video that you're going to be making will be, we like to keep it like within the Minecraft realm. It's probably a good idea to film something in Minecraft with your skin and maybe your teammates there too. We ask that you try to be creative and you have fun with your video, of course. That's ultimately what we're looking for. And a couple things that you might want to consider putting in your video might be things like introducing yourself, who you are, kind of like maybe some stuff you've done in Minecraft along with your teammate, of course. How you guys heard about MCBC, what your favorite MCBC roster member is, or like who your favorite MCBC roster member is, uh, what your favorite game mode is that you've watched, and uh, some Minecraft skills that you think might come in handy while playing in the event. Obviously you can add tons of other information, you don't even have to answer all of those questions. But just some starting points if you guys are stuck. So video applications will be closing on the 5th of February and we'll be announcing which team got in a few days after that. So the chosen team will have about two weeks to prepare for the actual event. And although this should go without saying, obviously if you guys put anything inappropriate in your video, we will instantly make it ineligible as an application. Swearing is not necessarily an instant disqualification, depending on how it's used, of course, but anything that would typically go against TTOS or Twitch Terms of Service, or that might get your video taken down straight from YouTube, we're obviously not going to want to be associated with that video and we won't be accepting you. And if this isn't obvious as well, you're not allowed to hack during the event. That's should be clear, right? Uh, okay. Otherwise, I'm very excited to see what you guys are going to end up making for this application. Uh, have a good day, and uh, peace out.